Dante Alighieri was born in Florence, Italy, in the year 1265. He came of age during a tumultuous period in Italian history, marked by political strife, religious upheaval, and social unrest. Despite his humble origins, Dante received a thorough education in literature, philosophy, and theology, which laid the foundation for his later literary achievements. As a young man, Dante became involved in the political affairs of Florence, aligning himself with the faction known as the White Guelphs. However, his aspirations for political power were thwarted when the Black Guelphs, their rivals, rose to prominence and banished Dante from the city in 1302. Exiled from his homeland, Dante embarked on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual enlightenment. It was during this time of exile that he began writing his magnum opus, The Divine Comedy, a sprawling epic that explores the complexities of the human soul and the nature of divine justice. Dante's journey through hell, purgatory, and paradise serves as both a literal and metaphorical exploration of his own spiritual quest for redemption. Through his encounters with various sinners, saints, and spiritual guides, Dante grapples with the complexities of morality, salvation, and divine grace, ultimately seeking to find peace and reconciliation within himself and with his creator. Dante is often depicted as a man of medium height, with a solemn countenance etched with lines of experience and contemplation. His eyes, deep and piercing, reflect the depth of his soul and the weight of his burdens. His dark hair, tinged with streaks of gray, frames his face in unruly waves, adding to his air of intellectual intensity. Despite his advancing years, there is a strength and resilience to his bearing, a testament to the trials he has faced and overcome. Dante is renowned for his keen intellect and philosophical insight. He possesses a deep understanding of theology, literature, and human nature, which he often draws upon to navigate the moral complexities of his journey. Beneath Dante's stoic exterior lies a heart brimming with empathy and compassion. He is deeply affected by the suffering of others, often shedding tears for the souls he encounters in his journey through hell and purgatory. Despite facing numerous trials and tribulations, Dante displays unwavering determination and resolve. He is committed to the pursuit of truth and righteousness, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Dante grapples with his own spiritual shortcomings throughout his journey, confronting his sins and seeking redemption. His inner turmoil and existential angst add depth to his character as he strives to reconcile his faith with his human frailty. As Dante Alighieri found himself in the twilight of his life's journey, he wandered into a dense forest where the darkness enveloped him like a suffocating shroud. The trees stood like silent sentinels, their gnarled branches twisting towards the heavens, casting eerie shadows upon the forest floor. Dante, feeling lost and disoriented, stumbled through the undergrowth, his heart heavy with the weight of his sins. The forest seemed to stretch on endlessly, its depths filled with whispers of temptation and despair. Dante's mind echoed with the voices of regret and remorse, each step deeper into the woods, only serving to deepen his spiritual confusion. Amidst the oppressive gloom, a dim light flickered in the distance, like a beacon of hope in the midst of darkness. With renewed determination, Dante forged ahead, his path guided by the faint glow ahead. 
as he approached the source of the light, Dante saw a figure standing on a small hill, bathed in an otherworldly radiance. It was Virgil, the Roman poet, his presence commanding and reassuring amidst the desolation of the forest. Dante, Virgil spoke, his voice resonating with authority and wisdom. Why do you wander in this dark wood, lost and alone? Tears welled in Dante's eyes as he confessed his sins and shortcomings. His voice choked with emotion. I am burdened by the weight of my transgressions, he admitted, and I fear I have strayed from the path of righteousness. Virgil's gaze softened with compassion as he listened to Dante's tale of woe. Do not despair, my son, he said, reaching out a hand to steady Dante, for I have been sent to guide you on a journey through the depths of hell and the trials of purgatory. Together, we shall seek redemption and salvation. With a newfound sense of purpose, Dante took Virgil's hand feeling a surge of hope and resolve coursing through his veins. The darkness of the forest seemed to retreat before their joined strength as they embarked on their perilous journey into the unknown depths of the underworld. And thus, under the watchful guidance of Virgil, Dante began his descent into the infernal realms, his heart aflame with the fervent desire to find absolution and peace amidst the torments of hell. As Dante and Virgil stood at the threshold of hell, the air thick with foreboding, Dante's heart was heavy with doubt and fear. He cast a wary glance at the yawning abyss before them, its depths shrouded in impenetrable darkness, and felt a chill run down his spine. Virgil. Dante spoke, his voice trembling with uncertainty. I am filled with dread at the thought of descending into this infernal realm. What horrors await us in the depths below? Can I truly face the sins and torments that lie ahead? Virgil regarded Dante with a steady gaze, his expression a mask of calm resolve. Fear not, my friend, he replied his voice a reassuring anchor amidst the tumult of Dante's emotions. Though the journey before us is fraught with peril and suffering, you are not alone. I shall be your guide through the depths of hell and purgatory, leading you safely through the trials that lie ahead. Dante's eyes searched Virgil's face, finding solace in the unwavering strength of his mentor's presence. But why must we undertake this journey? He asked, his voice tinged with curiosity and trepidation. What purpose does it serve to delve into the darkest recesses of the human soul? Virgil's expression softened with understanding as he began to explain the nature of their quest. Our journey is a pilgrimage of the spirit, Dante, he explained, his words measured and deliberate. We seek to unravel the mysteries of divine justice and the workings of the human heart. By traversing the circles of hell and ascending the mountain of purgatory, we shall witness the consequences of sin and the possibilities of redemption. Dante listened intently to Virgil's words, his doubts gradually giving way to a sense of purpose and clarity. I understand, he said, his voice steadier now infused with newfound determination. Lead on, Virgil, and I shall follow. Together, we shall confront the darkness that lies within and without, seeking truth and salvation amidst the shadows of hell. And so, with Virgil as his guide and mentor, Dante embarked on his journey into the depths of hell. His heart fortified by faith, and his spirit prepared to face the trials that lay ahead. Amidst the swirling mists of uncertainty and despair, they forged ahead, their footsteps echoing through the abyss as they descended into the infernal realms of the dam.